Hello friends! In this video I'm gonna tell you about another change uh, in the recent patch. What you can sell to the crown now. And what is the most effective things to sell. Basically the best ways to farm coins at the moment. As you know the best way before this was selling gold or golden jewelry. But right now you can't do this anymore. So you need to sell something else. They also reworked all the things that we could sell. All prices are much different than it was before. Like, for example, tailoring gear was really effective, but not anymore. And well, a lot of a lot of things changed. I will show you most of the items you can sell, and at the end of this video, you will know what's the best things to sell right now. So first, let me uh, check this trading post that I'm at. It's. This one is pretty easy to find. Here we go. So, well, let's go step by step. Light crossbow. As you can see, 56 quality, not full durability, 80 copper coins. Now, 60 quality torch, 3 copper coins. Uh, I made another torch, really crappy one, as you can see. Oh, no, sorry, not crappy one high quality one, uh, 58. As you can see, quality is important, so it decides the price. Because uh, I wanted to show you this because some people on Discord said that quality stuff mattering and bullshit like this. It still matters, the higher the quality, the more you will get. Hank of Linen, 52 quality, 4 items, 1 silver coin. So basically each Hank will be 25 copper coins. Pevis, 60 quality, 1 silver coin. Skinning knife, 4 copper coins, it's not even full durability. Toolkit, almost nothing, basically trash. Just in lands. Uh, you have to keep in mind this durability is super low, even though quality is pretty high, so I'm pretty sure the freshly made lands will, be, will go more for more. Composite bow, 85 quality, but kinda low durability. Well, pretty good price. Next, flavor. Uh, as you can see, I have 39 flavors, so it's not really that expensive, but quality is crappy too, so you can actually sell this. Cooking pot, 100 quality, full durability. 63... It's, uh, not, it's not worth it. Pretty cheap. Antidote, pretty good. All things considered, about 20 copper coins, considering this is only 80 quality, so I'm pretty sure you will be able to get two or three times more with higher quality. Knife, a simple uh, iron tool, doesn't cost much at all, for some reason. Nafta pot, 22 quality, two items, 82 copper, so this is actually pretty good too. A high quality nafta pot will go for a silver probably. Practice Bastard, a simple wooden item, 100 quality, 2 silver coins, insanely good. Uh, you only need, need a billet and a simple rope to make these practice weapons, or board, considering what you want to do. Longbow, probably the high, highest uh, well, skill level based weapon in the game, almost 4 silver coins, but it's not full durability, though it's really high quality. So I guess the best tier 4 weapons will go for 4 silver coins. Mallet, basically not this greatest weapon. No, it's not. For some reason, as you can see, mallet costs only 26 copper compared to practice weapon that went for 2 silver. Now, here we go, sil sickle. As you can see, sickle is going for much more than a knife. I'm not sure why. It doesn't make any sense because this is basically the same tools. And they own the same quality, but this one, maybe it's because this one isn't full durability. I'm not sure, guys. But this is how it is. Now, this was my favorite item before patch to sell to the crown. Never spied a helmet. Basically, it's a crappy helm, crappy coif, actually. I don't know why they call it helm, it's a coif. Uh, from tailoring. And it went for two silver before the patch. And now it's it costs nothing. It's trash. Sad, but what can you do? Regular leather gauntlet. This is just to show you how, for how much you can sell a regular gear. And that's a lot. This is really good. 
two silver, 37 co copper coins for 75 wallets like uh, gloves. Gloves, six copper trash. Now, tier four food, 100 quality, two items, one silver, 26 copper coins. Not really that great considering all the trouble you need to went, go through to make this. Tier five food, just for the sake of it, 100 quality. Uh, it costs more than one silver. Still not worth it. Metal plate, uh, crappy quality, 35. Nine copper coins, absolute trash. Well, Yorkshire pudding is another tier for food, not sh the same basic price, not nothing changed. Flank maced, high quality weapon, uh, I mean high tier weapon, but not high quality. Eh, 43 coppers, nothing. Hank of silver and wool pack. Trash, six copper, wool pack. Trash, 10 copper. Well, this is actually really, this isn't bad. White meat, 99 quality. It's it's actually really good because if you uh, managed your coop ever you have so many white meat so much of it this won't be this will be a pretty good deal because 100 white meat is a joke and that's five silver 1000 white meat that's uh, 50 silver so that will actually yield quite a lot far not really hard to get and price is pretty good too 26 copper co coins next we have Mutton, beef, pork, and game meat. This, all of that you can get in bulk. A lot of it. Four copper coins, beef. Four copper coins, pork. Four copper coins and game meat. Also four copper coins. Again, you can easily farm with it enough to support any private claim. Because you can get like hundreds of it without any problem. Lining rope, 60, 76 quality. One silver. Pretty good, not sure if it's worth it. Now, freight salmon. Eight copper coins. This is so freaking easy to obtain. Basically, one fish and one branch will yield you 80 copper coins. So, this probably would be my favorite to gain coins. Uncommon tandem. Well, and 90 copper to too cheap. Charcoal, just for the sake of it. Oh, no. Two copper coins. This is a joke. Small metal plate. Okay, see, I have no... Why the hell? It doesn't make sense. This is costing, like, four times more than a big metal plate. It... Why? Still, you can... This is actually a pretty good price. You can make a lot of, the, of it and make some coins. Next, we have a basic item that uh, before this patch were probably the easiest way for new players to gain coins. It's building log and handles. Now, this handle is super low quality, and yeah, it's trash. Now, handles won't give you much, sadly, but that's how it is. Softwood billet. Mm, four copper coins, not sure if it's good. Uh, let's see what about board. Two times more, so basically they're pretty much the same. Hardwood billet. For some reason, it costed more for one, 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 one copper more. Not sure why. And the last, building log. Well, yeah, building lock is much better. Uh, I would, pre though. Wait a second. It's not really that much better. B basically, uh, ten hardwood billets uh, would be almost equal to one building lock. So you can just go uh, with this. So this is all, guys. This is all the things. Well, not all the things that you can sell, but basically just the things I wanted to show you. I think I covered like half of the items you can sell, maybe even more. Uh, so my recommendation would be food, like this food, simple food, fried salmon or codfish, because you get uh, 8 and 10, you get 10 salmon and 8 uh, codfish from one fish, and that's, that's insane. Like, this is 81 quality, and you can get from one fish 80 copper coins. It's pretty good, and it's so easy to obtain, like, hundreds of it. But if you have a good carpenter, then making practice weapon probably not a great way. As you can see, it's it's really a lot. But, but you can sell pretty much everything right now. And the higher quality, not the quality even, the higher tier your item are, the more it goes for. Like, you can craft a lot of regular armor and sell it for a good price too. Novice isn't as much. So... I hope now you know what you want you can sell and what you can get for it. Thanks for watching. See you later.